There has been a lot of conversation and controversy lately over the massacre at the Land Between the Lakes and the Dogman phenomenon in general. That, coupled with several recent witnesses who have contacted us with possible Dogman activity, steered our decision to change things up a bit with Hellbent Holler and spend our summer looking into the Dogman phenomenon. And we figured there's no better place to start than the Land Between the Lakes, or LBL itself. For those of you who are not familiar with what exactly a dog man is, for years there have been reports circulating of upright walking canines as well as creatures who closely resemble the classic depiction of a werewolf. The Beast of Bray Road, the Michigan Dog Man, and the creatures who inhabit the LBL are the most well-known examples of these monsters. Although, reports of dog or wolf-like cryptids can be found in almost every corner of the United States. Some of these creatures are reported to intimidate and harass those who see them, while others, like the Beast of LBL, have been rumored to have killed those who come across it. So it is day one of our Land Between the Lakes investigation, and we just got to the park. It is early in the morning, but you can tell that by the sounds of cars and stuff kind of going down the trace back here, that this is a active recreation area. But right now we are on a gravel road that we think, after doing a lot of research, was the area and the site of the LBL massacre back in the early 80s. So recently, a survivor came out and spoke to the guys at the Cryptid, Cryptid Studies Institute and recounted his story as a survivor of the LBL massacre. And we used his story and his information and the Cryptid Studies Institute information. Great channel, by the way. You need to check those guys out. They, the Henderson, the Henderson guys are the best. Um, they have done so much work on LBL. They came out with a really good little short documentary. It's on YouTube. It's kind of what inspired us to come out here and check out the place for ourselves. But the supposed survivor spoke to them and gave an interview and an account of what happened from a first person perspective. Uh, so based on his information and what he was saying, We've determined this is the area after coming around here. Uh, so this is the loop where we think the RV was. So we're gonna go out here and check it out. We've got a cemetery across the road here. We've got the gate here. And this is a road that you actually can't drive down. The regulations for LBL are certain roads you just simply cannot go down. They will ticket you if you go down these roads. So we've parked over here and we're gonna go in here on foot and check out the area. So this is day one. We do have a night investigation tonight, but right now this is mostly a scouting expedition. We're gonna get a lay of the land and figure it out because this is our first time up here. Uh, we are so stoked to have you with us and uh, let's do LBL. traffic in the distance we're not far from the main road going past this which does tie in with actually both versions of the LBL story the original one with no survivors and then Roger's account where there's actually a survivor um there's a lot of trash up here towards the the main road and someone has been using this cemetery as a toilet <laughs> um which we're going to try to clean up before we leave somehow um but looking into all avenues and all possibilities of any sort of like activity out here. Desecrating a cemetery is probably right up there on the top of trying to like stir up any sort of negative. Oh yeah. Uh, paranormal, supernatural, possibly even cryptid activity. Um, so. so we're just a few yards in on the road here and uh, you can already see some of the foundations that uh, are okay, reported. Now, this was part of the description on one of the recent discussions over this, the small 
foundation of a building and the building is no longer there. Here's one right here. Uh, shh, this shh, shut up. Did you hear that? That's a bird. That's a bird. Yeah, that's a big bird. It's a bird of prey. Well, this is not the foundation. This is one of the bunkers. I feel like we're being trailed by this bird of prey that has just been screaming at us. Check out these deep ravines. So this road right here, you can tell it was somewhat paved a very, very long time ago. There's a clay culvert here. So there was some kind of drainage system through here. Right. Got some steps over here. Uh, this is the foundation of the old house or building. You've got some over here too, but you've got a big, I guess one of the bunker structures. Steps to nowhere. Always a good sign. So, so far we've had near here, there are three that we counted working quarries. Yeah. That are currently processing rock. Mm -hmm. Anytime there's a disturbance or a tear into the earth, quarries, mines, sometimes caves, there tends to be activity activity um, we've got a cemetery that's been desecrated basically right we've got a ticked off falcon or hawk rather um, ticked off hawk we've got stairs to nowhere we're gonna make our way over to um, one of the other bunkers that I saw bunkers that I saw uh, check it out it's really cool just to be here to be honest with you uh, you do so much research on a location, you read all about it and you hear all about it, listen to all the podcasts and, you know, see other people's photos and hear other people's stories and everything like that. And it's just, it's honestly pretty cool just to be here and see it for yourself. Um, there's not a lot of people here, to be honest with you. There's people driving through and stuff, but um, we've not seen a lot of people for it being such a beautiful day and, you know hot and just gorgeous out. So we're gonna check out this bunker over here. Now the theories about these things have run the gamut from these were put in by the military after the LBL massacre happened to try to contain the beast if they were having to catch it alive. Um, other people say that they were built in case you were here and the beast attacked that you could get inside and basically seal yourself in to protect yourself from it. Um, there's stories that the military built them to house munitions while they were here hunting for these things um, because that's part of it too is that there's not just a singular one. There's supposed to be a clan of but at this point, it's nobody's. Nobody knows for certain why these are here. They're all different. They're all. They all have 
I mean, they're all about the same size. Some of them have. Made of the same materials. Yeah. But they all have different characteristics. This has a entrance to it. This yeah. one over here looks like it had a lid to the top at one point that you could Because I mean, up. that might very well be, you might want somewhere for the, the hunters to take shelter at. Um, and you might want somewhere to contain it if you caught it. Yeah, yeah, these are reinforced. There's rebar through here. All right. But you'd have to reinforce it to keep something out as well as in on the others. What'd you find? An MRE packet, sterling. That's, that's modern. That's not, that wouldn't have been from any military activity for the beast, unless Unless they had to come in. Unless there's ongoing activity like that. snack claim. bread. Shh, that's your howling. That was weird. That is weird. So we're hearing howling or something over here to the sides. Um, so we got deer. Yeah. Come up this way, a little raccoon. That little paw. Yep. Little hands. Deer straight across there. Yeah, raccoon straight across there too. Yep. Raccoon. No canine prints. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's head down past these more complete bunkers, head towards the lake where we think that the campsite was that the massacre occurred. Cool. Old fence. Get ahead of me. Huh? Right along. Uh, there is an old fence right along. Good eye. Here's Good a bone. Eye. Scapula? Scapula. Hold on. Look at that. Yep. Something to get its calcium. Those don't look like small gnaws. Those look like breaks. The squirrels will drag their teeth across it to gnaw on it. These are not drags. These see Those how the bites? see how the bone is splintering. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Uh, focus, focus, focus. All right, there you go. So you see how the bone is splintering. None of that has been. It's not drags. They use their teeth to drag it and pull the calcium from the bone. Of course, they eat bone to get calcium, but they drag their teeth across it. We had a deer skull in our yard for a while that squirrels were just going nuts on, but the edges were very smooth because they would drag their teeth across it. This is not smooth at all. This is splintering, it's been broken, it's been smashed and it's been broken. I mean, we've been on old roadbeds before. They were older than what we are traveling on. Honestly, this looks like no, they, this, this, is a, this was an old roadbed, but it looks as if they have purposely- Made it impossible to yeah, that's travel? That's washout, man. We've been on old roads that haven't been tamed for longer than the 80s. So what do you think? Somebody purposely- They might've brought something down here and just- and made it impossible to travel down like a front loader down or something and just tried to try to wreck that road a bit because that does not look that's not just washout man we go into we go into roads that haven't been maintained since like the 40s and the 50s and they're not that bad right down here i think this is the campsite like it said that the campsite was on the old road bed down next to the lake yeah i think this is where the rv was at how do you feel out here it's weird out here how do you feel out here it is if something were to happen, we couldn't get out of here. We can't get out of here. We can't run out um, of this heat, this humidity like this. Well, this I mean, not just that, but just the growth is insane. Yeah. That's why we go to these areas. This is why we go to the locations. You can hear stories, you can read accounts, you can do all this stuff, but actually going to the locations and actually seeing the lay of the land, what it looks like, look at that, what it looks like, uh, how the terrain is, where the bodies of water actually are, the scale and everything. I mean, you just can't get that just by looking at a map or reading accounts. You can get kind of an idea, 
but the only way to really understand what you're looking at is to be there looking at it. We're shreds. All right, we're gonna go back up the the old road here and uh, regroup back at the cemetery, get a little water in us, and figure out what our next move is. Day one of LBL, off to a fun start. So it's right at dusk right now. Everybody is leaving the land between the lakes recreation area from the main exit. We've traveled the length of the road from the north to the south, back up to the north. We've gone down a few of the side roads. We've checked out the area. It looks like a lot of people just come in for day use. We saw a lot of people just basically leaving the entire peninsula the entire time we were driving out. But now we're back in the area where we think is the site of the massacre that occurred in the early 1980s. And we're gonna conduct a night investigation. Jesus. Came all this way just to get attacked by a hawk. We're changing this to a Thunderbird show. All right. Guys, this is a little different this time because Usually we're armed to the teeth doing this. Yeah. And uh, land between the lakes because it's ran by the U.S. Forestry Service. They do not allow firearms. Nope. Unless it is hunting season and then it is only a hunting applicable uh, firearm that's allowed. So if you're hunting squirrels, you can't have a 308. Um, so we do not have our usual loadout as far as firearms go for protection tonight. And we're in LBL. Yeah. So, um, We're coming up on the larger of the bunkers right now. I can tell you right now that this place has a completely different feeling to it at night. As far as creepy old abandoned places go that we would normally go to, there's not a lot of satanic graffiti, which is weird. Yeah. But it's weird that it's so absent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Something's moving through the woods over there. Something. I'm just telling you. You got your keys in your pocket? Because if something comes out, I don't have my 10 millimeter. Oh, I know. My plan's to draw this machete and go out like Billy and Predator. <laughs> so. Billy, no! Billy. So, yeah. Um. God. <laughs> now, do you want me to scream Billy no or Joe no? Ooh, let me think about that. I'll, let you, I'll get back to you before I'm murdered in these woods. I'll let you know. Big ass bird. Right. Just black and huge. Yeah. Jesus. Sorry, I'm. No, that's all right. I'm jumpy too. There's a chick's words just keep from the uh, nature center. Keep coming back to me that the bitterness has sunk into this land. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling it right now. Whew, that was a big bird. Jeez. Woods are alive. Uh, 
weird. It's like we're walking into this barrier of light up here. There's no light in these woods. There's no light in the woods. At all. No. And then you just walk here. And in just a few seconds. And I could read a book. The camera yeah. will see better than the human eye will because it picks up light better. But That's crazy. Look right now. I mean, it's just gone. I can't see you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> we're where the power lines are cutting through. Um, I gotta go back to night shot in a few seconds because we're gonna go right back into these black yeah. woods. You go for, stay in front of me where I can see you. Let's turn the night shot back on because we're going back into the woods. Let's get this woodland massacre over with. I'm telling you, this is, this place has me on edge to say the least. Tell you. Ooh, it smells like BO. You know what just happened, right? What? The last of the sun went down beneath the skyline. Yeah. And as soon as it did, everything feels different all of a sudden. The air feels charged. Something's moving through the woods. Do you not hear it? Yeah. What are you saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Come here. Yeah, it looks like head and shoulders of something looking at us. Do you see it? I can't tell. What is it gone? Oh, uh, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Okay. Okay. That's weird. All right. Actually, I'm gonna keep this on for a few minutes. Yeah. Just kind of hand as we go up this road. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's a bad idea. Seeing. Get behind me. What are you seeing? Talk to me. I just, I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a shape peeking at me from behind a tree. All right. Um, I don't know what I just got. Okay. It's moved to another tree. All right. I've lost it. Okay. There's something over here. Okay. I got it again. Okay. I'm watching the back. Hey. What? What? I hear something. Yeah. Back out of here. What kind of shape are we talking about? Unlock the doors. What are we talking about? I don't know what we're talking about. I don't know what I saw. All right. Okay. What? We'll be back in a few minutes. 
Oh, Jesus. I just recorded that thing. I don't know what. I'm gonna assume. I don't know where. She... Where is he going? just went from three quarters full to dead within the space of like five seconds. Okay. I don't know how that happened. Okay, camera. It's recording. That's fine, keep it running. I know he didn't say anything. Oh, my journal's gone. Oh. Might be going down into a hole here. Yeah, you might be. All right, we gotta review that footage. My battery just like drained. My battery just went from like almost full now there's a deer over here who was like freaking just motionless. I got him with the light, he didn't even run, he was like hunkered down. Um, he looked scared. Might have been scared about me, but I don't know. But we got something where you heard that breaking through the brush really heavy. Yeah. And I'm telling you, I keep, I keep hearing it. Upon review, we find most of our thermal footage inconclusive. However, we did manage to capture two thermal images we find very compelling. Keep in mind we are using a Pulsar Axion XQ38 set to black hot. We came to the LBL in search of large wolf-like cryptids. Did we find them? Mm -hmm. 